good morning students welcome to mathematics class today we are going to study chapter 11 perimeter and area in your class 6 you have already learned perimeter of the plane figures and area of the squares and rectangles what is the meaning of perimeter how you find the perimeter perimeter is the distance around the closing figure while area is the region obtained by the figure that is called area some regular polygon are the polygon you know what is the meaning of polygon polygon means a closed figure with line three or more line segment that is called polygon that regular polygon means the all sides are equal at that that figures are called regular polygon at that time what is the perimeter of the square square also a closed figure which is also a polygon is regular polygon because all sides are equal so what is the perimeter of the square set it four sides are there the length around the closed figure means four sides are there so you will write that the perimeter of the square is equal to four sides so that is four into side because all sides are equal that is four sides four into sides then what is the area of the area of the square area of the square is equal to side into side equal to side square side into side side square that is the area of the square now perimeter of the rectangle perimeter of a rectangle what is the property of rectangle you know that it is about it is a perimeter perimeter this is length and this is breadth so opposite sides are equal length are same and breadth also same equal so here what is the perimeter the length around the figure closed figure so how many lines are there two lines are there two breadth are there so perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into l plus b means length plus breadth plus length plus breadth so two l are there and plus two b are there two comma is there you take the two into l plus b so what is the perimeter of the rectangle two into l plus b Next, what is the area of the area of the rectangle? What is the area of the rectangle? That is length into breadth. L into b. L means length, b means breadth. Length into breadth. Do you understand this one? This is length into breadth of the area of the rectangle. Perimeter is two into l plus b. Perimeter of the square is equal to four into side. Area of the square is equal to side into side. This two formulas you remember. Now, so more perimeter you have to find. Suppose the rectangle given. Perimeter is two into l plus b. Suppose here some perimeter of this here some portion it will cut. Then the perimeter equal to not only you have to take the how much. Remaining portion is there. This much you are able to remove. How much remaining portion is that much you have to take. Like this way, in exercise you will do. Then now you see that exercise eleven point one. Question number one: The length and breadth of a rectangular piece of land are five hundred meter and three hundred meter. What is this two? The length and breadth of a rectangle, respectively. It is given. Then find its area. Find its area. Number one. Number two is the cost of the land. If one square meter is equal ten thousand rupees, then how do you find the area first? Then how find the cost of the land? What you will do? First solution. What is there? First you have to write the length of the length of the rectangle. How much is rectangular piece? Rectangular piece of land. Piece of land. How much is that? That is 500 meter. Then the breadth. The breadth of the 
rectangular piece of land. How much is that? That is 300 meter. You have to write huh? the rectangular piece of land. Rectangular piece of land. Then what is the area? How you find the area? Area equal to what is the formula? That is length into breadth. So area of the rectangle equal to a rectangular field equal to length into breadth. Length is equal to how much? 500 meter. Then breadth is equal to how much? 300 meter. Then you have to multiply. So, what you multiply the number? 5 3 is 15. Here, 2 0, here, 2 0. So, you have to put 4 0. This is the square, m into m is equal to m square, means square meters. This much here. Then, this is the area. This is the first number also. Next, second question is there. The cost of the land, if 1 square meter of the land cost equal to 10,000. Suppose the question is given like that way. What you will do? Here, total number of square meter, how many are there? It is 150,000 square meter. This much square meter, what is the cost? You have to find like that way. We understand what is the cost of the cost of 1 square meter of the land. How much is there? That is 10,000 rupees. 10,000 rupees. Piece. Then how many square meters are there total? Total 150,000 square meters. Then the cost of the cost of 150,000 square meter cost of the land cost. Okay, how much is there? 150,000 into 10,000. Have to 15 1 here how many for zeros are there? 8 zeros are there, 8 zeros are there. Okay? This much, this many rupees is the cost of the land. Then you have to write the cost of the the cost of the land equal to that much. Okay? You have to write. This way, we have to do the inversion. Here, it is given second number. See, exercise number 21, second number. Find the area of the square whose perimeter is 320 meters. Here, perimeter given. You have to find the area. So, what is the square, perimeter of the square? Formula, that is 4 into side. Then, 4 into side is equal to 320. Then, side will come. So, how do you write the solution? The perimeter, the perimeter of the square is 320 meter. Then the side of the square. It is equal to, it is 4 into side equal to 320. Perimeter will be 4 into side. Okay. Then the side of the square equal to what you will do? You have to divide 320 meter divided by 4 okay. then how you find the side of the square area by a perimeter by 4 you have to write the formula side equal to perimeter by 4 side of a square side of a square this is the formula remember equal to perimeter by 4. This is then it is if the perimeter given you want to find the side and perimeter by 4 you have to. If area given, suppose area given, then how you find the side? Then how you find the square root of the area? Then side root. It is the square area. Area of the square. It is a square form. Side of the square. Then side equal to perimeter by 4. 4 by the 4, 4 is 30. How much can? 80 meter. Therefore, side equal to 
80 meters. Do you understand this? Perimeter given means perimeter by side will come, then side will come. If area is asking, area of the square, how much will come? What is the formula? Area equal side into side, side equal to 80 meter, and perimeter equal side into side, 80 meter into 80 meter. Then how you will multiply? 8 area, 64, and here 1 zero is there, here 1 zero is 2 zero, you have to write. And make an M square, 6400 square meter. That is the area of the square. So, this much for today. Next class, I will continue this class. Okay? Thank you.